might think that if you're no. confident with your material mm -hmm. and what you're going to say, you have, you know, you have, it's just like writing a book, you have your arc, right? Mm -hmm. You've got to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. You have to know where you're going so that you can finish it. And I think actually um, practicing, I think practicing, um, if you're comfortable with what you're saying and, you know, you can practice, and write it down and you know do what they I mean I still I still do my notes before but it takes me I may have told the story a thousand times right but I still like each like right now when I'm doing my speaking I'm I'm intermingling three books in three different countries so I've got to bring it all the way through and so I do I I make an outline and then you know, I'll type it all out and it's you know like 15 pages you can't bring 15 pages mm -hmm. of notes up mm -hmm. so then after I've, I've read it and read it and practiced and like even just the other day I literally went into the bathroom so I could speak out loud right mm -hmm. and I and I spoke it mm -hmm. so I could get my timing mm -hmm. I think timing and if you're gonna put the joke in I mean I can go off the cuff pretty easy, but still I know the joke I'm putting in and I know the timing. It's just like, do, it's like theater, it's theater all the way. For me, it is. I think of when I'm speaking as entertaining, I'm, all, I'm trying to get information across and I'm trying to engage and entertain. I mean, I think keeping your audience engaged when you see them sleeping, it's a very uncomfortable feeling. I also, it's much more uncomfortable when you're speaking to your group of peers, people you know. Mm. So even at that point, I pick out somebody I don't know and mm. I engage in th with them. Talking mm. to somebody you do know feels uncomfortable. Mm. You know, and the smaller the room, the more uncomfortable it is. You know, so I always will find that stranger mm -hmm. that seems to be listening, which is always good. Listening is good. I would prefer to engage in the people I don't know, mm. uh, but that's mm. just me, because mm. I just uh, was at um, Pierce County Library, mm. right, and so half of it was my partner Dennis's family, mm. and the other half were his classmates, and so I knew, I didn't know them well, but I, they were all familiar faces, mm. and so I had to find that stranger mm. for me. You know, just uh, the one that you can always, you can look around and you can kind of tell the, the one that maybe have been dragged to your event. <laughs> and then there's the one that's engaging. Like they laugh at the right times. Always find the one who is, is engaged and laughing and then talk directly to them and they'll feed you. Mm -hmm. 